Let's talk about creating rollovers in Dreamweaver. It's one of the most common ways to give the user some feedback that what they're moving their mouse over is something that they can either click on or interact with in some way. There's a number of different ways to do this and also a number of different techniques. The one we're going to look at first here is creating on-state and off-state graphics that we can swap in and out when the user moves their mouse over the object. Let's go into Photoshop to see how to create such a thing. I have my layout document here. This is where I created my Isabella's Restaurant graphics. And I have some navigation buttons up here in the right-hand side, which are essentially just a text object. I'll get my text tool and click in here so you can see these are just lines of text that I've typed in. And currently I have them set to bright red and also bold. This is going to be my on state. And the way that I prepare for making this, my on state graphics, is I have to actually create slices, one for each individual graphic. And if I use the slice tool, I can click and drag rectangles that denote a slice area. Once I click on the slice tool and choose slice select, I have the ability to double click on a slice to edit that slice's properties. I want to come up with a naming convention that incorporates the use of the word on so I know that these buttons are all in their on state and also a little bit about the button. I have another favorite technique which when it comes to naming graphics like this for navigation, I often want to know what order they're supposed to go in when I get out to actually building my web page, so I even do incorporate a digit in the names of these. And I start it all off with nav and a dash, just so when they are in a huge list of one or two hundred graphics, all my nav buttons group together and I don't have to go hunting around for things that are named contact or about or anything else. Just an idea for a naming technique that may actually be helpful to you in the long run.